Okay, I'm gonna kill this whole army of them up here, and then I'm gonna give up because at this point I'm gonna assume they're not dropping properly for some reason. A few moments later. This is ridiculous. What is going on you guys? My name is CPK. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. I'm back with another episode of Kingdom Craft, your favorite faction series where your favorite YouTubers all try to get each other. Really fun story. I'm in the nether. So yesterday while I was filming, I started to feel a bit dizzy while I was recording and I was like, oh my god, I really weirdly feel like I'm going to pass out. So I was about to stop recording when my PC turned off and would not turn back on. The 50 minutes of footage that I had was just gone. Uh, and it was a really good episode too, so I was like super like upset about it because it was a really really fun episode. And now it's gone. Basically I collected a bunch of heads, I did a bunch of like extra stuff. So I came to the nether, which is where I'm going to be picking it up today, so that we can uh, get some of the heads from some of the mobs here uh, for the head collector challenge that's currently going on. I have now got about 11 heads, I think. I think I'm on about 11. So I thought I'd come to the nether and see if I can grab them from the ghast, if I can find the ghast. And then obviously we'll have things like a nether fortress to try and find, to try and get blazes, and maybe even the zombie pigmen. Because these ones here will be quite difficult to get, I feel. But I do now have the ender bow too, look. So if I fire this, woo! It only costs us an arrow instead of costing an ender pearl now. And that was my uh, second reward from the head collector challenge uh, that pretty much everyone on the server is doing right now. But I want to make sure that I am uh, ahead of the game this time. I want to make sure I'm actually doing things right. So we're going to be attacking some zombie pigmen today. That's the plan. Which is obviously going to stress them all out. The quicker we can get the head, the quicker we can get out of this situation. Uh, and for those worrying about me because I said like I felt really faint and dizzy and stuff, I still feel a little weird today, but not so bad that I can't film. Like, I wouldn't put myself through it if I couldn't film, so don't panic about me. I'm fine, I'm sure. It's just uh, been a very long few weeks of like traveling and stuff, and I think it's finally caught up to me. But I'm A-OK, -okay, I promise. So I had a look in the Discord, and apparently... The drop rate is about 1 in 20. So, if we kill 20 of them, we should get at least one head in it, roughly, is what it's saying. Obviously, that is not exactly how probability works. Um, 1 in 20 could still mean I could kill 100 and never get it. But hopefully, we do. Also, having this uh, looting on this sword is actually unreal. I get so many extra little rewards from kills that it's actually fantastic. Hello, sirs. Tag, you're it! Oh, they're coming to get me! Any pigmen heads? No! You know what? The next one I kill is gonna have it, I believe. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys back once we eventually get one, because this is very dull watching for you, I'm sure. So, I will bring you guys back when we find one. Or if you find a ghast. I'd like a ghast, too. I'm also gonna grab these magma blocks, because uh, I think these sell for quite a bit. You guys are telling me to sell my magma blocks, so I'm going to grab these for now. See how much they actually sell for, see if it's like worthwhile. Oh, I can hear a ghast. I can hear a ghast somewhere near me. Let's see if he's hiding or if he's going to come out and fight. Like, it sounds like he's to my left, but is that how it works in Minecraft? Does it have accurate sound? I don't know the answer to that question. Hello. Oh, I was expecting him to be there. Oh, this guy's chasing me. Oh, my, he brought his friends. Look at all these guys. Hello, mates. Okay, welcome back, guys. We've stumbled across a fortress, which I'm very excited about. Uh, so we're going to try and find some blazes. Oh, my goodness me. A lot of angry dudes here. Still no pigmen head. And you can see by the sheer amount of things we have, uh, like 64 gold nuggets. Eight, well, we've actually got 88 gold nuggets, which is crazy. Oh, there's a blaze spawner right there. I didn't bring my silt touch pickaxe. I, I, I just got a blaze head for my first one, didn't I? Oh, I think blazes constantly drop them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I got two blaze heads. They must drop them every time, surely. There's no way I was that lucky. I could do try to find uh, some of the big uh, wither skeletons and boys while I'm here. They would usually hang around these areas, would they not? Hello, mate. Make sure he has the right boat. Oof. Well, that was dramatic, wasn't it? Did he drop... He dropped a ghast here. 
but no head. Ah, oh, now I've got to literally run around to try and find another one. Look at these two babies hanging out. How cute is that? Look, they're friends. Oh. I didn't do anything to him. Yeah, yeah, everyone get angry at me. Blah, blah, blah. Drop a head and I can stop murdering you all. It's that simple. At this point, I don't really know what to do. The zombie pigmen are just refusing to drop heads. Maybe their spawn rate isn't configured correctly for some reason. I've killed at least 50 of them, I would say at this point. Easily. Hi, buddy. Come on over here. I need to kill you not over fire. Oh no, oh no! Oh no! I shot the wrong bow. I shot the wrong bow. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Right, let me get closer to him again. Oh my goodness me. That was absolutely frightening, honestly. I accidentally shot the wrong bow and just enderpearled myself at him. No, nope, no gas head, sadly. Why do blazes drop every time? I guess they don't drop every time, but... Alright, there's going to be a whole army of these guys that's to kill me now. One of these guys must drop it. They actually didn't drop it. I'm so stressed out. How many more can I kill? It's becoming savagery, honestly. It really is. At this point, I'm starting to feel bad for them. I'm genociding the zombie pigmen at this point. Okay, I'm going to kill this whole army of them up here. And I'm going to give up. Because at this point, I'm going to assume they're not dropping properly for some reason. A few moments later. This is ridiculous. I just laid waste to so many of them. And didn't get it. I'm going to assume the head does not drop correctly for some reason. And I'm going to give up. Because look at my inventory. It's just full of stuff. Things I don't really want, like gold swords. They can all go. Mental, the amount of stuff I just got from this. Oh, there's more gold swords as well. I'm absolutely blown away. But I guess all we can do is head back and uh, try and get some more from the overworld. So I'll be right back. We're back. And uh, here is the headhunter fella. Um, let's see if we get... Let's take a blaze quest off him. Oh my... Oh, wait, no, yeah. There is a zombie pigman head. For some reason, it just definitely wouldn't drop one. Honestly, wild. No idea why it was so adamant to not drop one. But we could take blaze headhunter... Yes, give me a blaze head. Well, sir, I got three for you. And I got two to trade if anyone wants to trade them. How many do I have left now? 9, 18, 27, 36, 39. So I've now got 11. So my next one is in at 20. I can only get one for 20 heads now. So I need to get a whole bunch of these. Things like llamas, puffer fish, salmons. Like, I think our best bet is to head toward the ocean. Um, I'm very quickly going to go and do... Uh, a chest run, of course, because it wouldn't be a video without a chest run. Wouldn't be complete. What you got for me? Diamonds, diamonds, potions. I mean, honestly, a lot of stuff I don't want. So the good thing about the ender bow is it does go quite a bit further than a regular ender pearl would. Um, so hopefully I can start picking myself around even quicker. Look at this. Bottles of enchanting is amazing. Fortune 2. Finally, this chest comes up with something good. Because it's been notoriously pretty terrible, I think is fair to say. And now maybe we can reach the well. We'll find out. Oh, first try and we hit the well. Dead on. You know how long I've been trying to do that for, guys. So that's a big achievement for me. Diamonds, ender pearls. The rest can stay. And then, of course, we're going to go once into the house over there. The old woodland mansion. How close does that get us? Oh, to the door. Oh, bunch more TNT. Okay, so there's a few simple ones I know I haven't got yet. Things like rabbits. I don't have a rabbit head yet. And there's a few more things as well that I should be fairly easy to get. Things like spider. Uh, I don't have those. And I really would like them. So it's all just random chance. That's the issue. There's a rabbit. Nope, rabbit hide, but nothing else. Desert seems to be the place to go to get rabbits, I think. And my aim is to get all 50 heads. We only have a few days left, honestly, until, we're, until we've got no time. So imagine if I could hit them. I was going to see Shovel's area too. Like, Shovel's our only technical ally on this server so far. And uh, I haven't even been to see her since she started building her sandcastle, honestly. So let's go check that out. Does being her ally actually allow me to do anything? Can I do stuff on her claim or, or no? What, what does being an ally benefit? Oh, this looks cool, though. That's a really funny way to start. I mean, obviously, I can still get in, Shovel. That's... Ender pearls exist, my friend. Oh, and you've left a one-block window gap over here. <laughs> Shovel. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be finished by now. It's been quite a while, but, you know, 
Time gets away from the best of us. It's time to get dark over here. Now let's go take a look in the water. Maybe we'll be able to find some fish. It's a squid over here too. Squids can also drop their heads, so let's go and grab him. It seems pretty brutal just swimming around killing everything, but... Oh, there you go. Ow. Okay, I touched a puffer fish. Right, and for that, sir, you're going to die. <laughs> really rude. Squid head was most important there. There's a whole flurry of them here. One of you must want to drop a tropical fish head. Come on. I believe in you. It appears that none of them do. I feel so mean killing them all, honestly. This is horrible. There's so many tropical fish and none of them... I think I just have to kill any of them. I wouldn't have thought it had been a specific tropical fish. Ooh. Not drown. So some of these mobs seem to have crazy drop rates because... I have been killing things like spiders for a couple of days now. And I still don't have one. Which is pretty concerning. The creeper dropped one nice and easy for me there. Of course, that's how it goes. So if we head back across towards the desert, this is usually where there's an abundance of, like, bad things. They just sort of hang out in this area. Here we go. Here's some more zombies, which is exactly what we need. We only 10 more, so there's about 4 on my screen right now, so... I'm going to assume we'll get this challenge. For oh, it's a wrong bow. Oh, I threw potions of experience at them. I'm leveling them up. When the game's not hard enough, so I level up the bosses. No, 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 it's getting daytime. I need I need a few more zombies, just a few more. That's all I need. I need three more zombies. Don't do this to me, game. Ah, three away. How unbelievably painful. Oh, I mean, I have a zombie spawner in my house. That'll probably do it. I'll go there. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh, I also got this little cauldron. Look how cute this is. Got this little cauldron last episode. Very cute. I also started using this as a store all, so don't get mad. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. So in the episode that you won't get to see because I lost all the footage, I got this gift one enchantment, but I don't know what gift one does. I've asked for some clarification in the chat, but no one has told me yet. So I'm not entirely sure what it does. Uh, also, my bank chest is now a bit of a mess, so don't get mad at me. We need to store these 64 more. So I'm going to go sell these magma blocks. I also have a zombie spawner, which is going to help me get to the 50 very quickly, hopefully. Great, non-spawned. There we go. And I think, honestly, I've had enough of pigs for now. I'm going to kill the pigs off for now. And I'm going to swap it with my other spawner. The uh, zombie villager spawner. i got like a million pig heads I can trade with people if they need them. So I need to use my silk touch pickaxe here to pick up the pig spawner. Oop. And put down the... Zombie villager spawner. Okay, so we've got a fence gate to put up here now. I'm just going to go in. Uh, take all the torches down, I guess, because that would be bad. We don't need torches. Hey! It placed as a pig spawner. I guess it must be bugged. Aw. Okay, I'll have to get that sorted another time. There we go. 50 out of 50 now. So let's go hand in this quest as well. There's a whole bunch of stuff we're going to do at spawn, including handing in the head, selling some of the stuff that we got, from our little trip away. Right, what did we get? Squid head. Give me a squid head. There you go, sir. So I've now collected 12, I think. I haven't looked at these rewards yet. I don't know what they are. Definitely don't know what this is. I feel like I had a peek at these, but I don't remember what they were. I haven't even looked at this one, so I want to get all 50 heads, but I only have a few days left, so let's stay vigilant. Okay, so you guys told me to come in. Is it here? Do I sell my magma blocks here? Ooh, yeah, okay. So he'll still buy quartz for... 10. So, I still had 540 from that. And he does, oh, he buys magma blocks for 15 each. We have quite a few, so let's just sell them all. 2445. Nice. End vendor not open yet, but I'd like him to be open because I've been to the end. Uh, and let's go hand in his quest to Godric. Hopefully get a sick reward. I'm praying for something really good. Okay, it's been a while since he's given us anything other than a black shulker box. Three eyes of ender. That would have been pretty sick if I needed them. Uh, I still can't get over the fact that zombie people, the Halloween people, are hiding, hiding up here. Come back down, you cowards. Is there anything for me to get up there? I wonder if there is. I want to see what they're doing up there. Hello? Oh, my goodness. I found the secret testing area. <gasps> if only I could break in. I could become king of the world. Okay, I can break in, but I honestly feel like I'm not going to touch this. I'm a bit scared. Sorry, admin. 
I just end a boat away from where I was and I landed here. That is absolutely terrifying. Oh, oh no. Let me away. Let me away from all this mess. Guys, this is where I'm going to leave this episode. Thank you so much for watching. One thing you guys have been requesting and uh, I do keep forgetting and I'm very sorry is the return of the royal subject. So today, our royal subject is Pebbles, who said the fact that he jumped and didn't miss a single lily pad and landed on the ground, all without falling into the water, makes me so happy. That's right, guys. It's the character progression we all needed. I'm actually getting better at Minecraft. Who would have thought it? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.